Hey guys, Irene here. Today we're doing photo shoot with glitter. I am a huge fan of RuPaul's Drag Race and when I saw Mayhem Miller in episode 4, I knew I have to recreate that glittery, beautiful, icy look. Also, I drew some inspiration from Edward from Twilight. Yeah, that part where he gets into the sun and he becomes glittery like a diamond. Capturing glitter in pictures is actually pretty challenging, so I'm gonna share some tips and tricks on how I photographed this glitter makeup. The model for today's shoot is Jenna from Mode Models, and as usual, my favorite makeup artist, Amelia, who is gonna do her magic today. Quick tip from Amelia, what she's doing is putting some glitter on a sheet of paper and then blowing it onto the model. This makes the glitter disperse a little bit more sporadically and makes it look a little bit more natural. For the outfit, Jenna is wearing a corset that I thrifted from Value Village and this huge poofy skirt that I got from AliExpress. I will leave the link to the skirt in the description down below. We did our photo shoot at Nose Hill Park as it is really big and open and I wanted a lot of sunshine coming in. So how do you make the glitter sparkle and show up in pictures? Well, this is where my unhealthy obsession with Instagram makeup videos comes in real handy. I've noticed that they always use their camera flashlight to make the glitter come to life. So I knew I'm gonna need some harsh directional light for this photo shoot. I decided to use my Aperture Minis as they come with the battery so I can easily take them on location and they're pretty powerful for its size LED light. I will leave the link in the description down below if you guys are interested in Aperture lighting. Huge thanks to Jenna's mom for helping us out and pretty much being my assistant for the day. I positioned the model with her back towards the sunlight so her face would be in the shadows and then I pointed the LED light straight onto her face making it really shine and sparkle. And here's the comparison of just shooting natural light and shooting using the LED. <laughs> Another tip to photograph glitter is to shoot wide open, something like 1.2, 1.4, and 1.8. You will be able to get that blurry and sparkly effect that way. Number one tip when it comes to editing, I would recommend you get a model that has a naturally really nice skin. It becomes really, really hard to edit it when you have a lot of texture like glitter. So using something like a patch tool or a healing brush becomes really, really hard to do and might look quite messy. And for these pictures, I actually did very, very minimal here, just a little bit of dodge and burn and color correction. Okay, so we are done with the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out Amelia and Jenna from Mode. Uh, I will leave their links in the description down below. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell to get notifications. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye. <laughs>